What is arterial line? Arterial line is a thin, flexible tube that is placed into an artery. It helps the doctors and nurses check the blood pressure and take blood samples. This line is usually placed in the wrist, brachial, or groin. To ensure accuracy of hemodynamic pressure readings, two baseline measurements are necessary. Calibration of the system to atmospheric pressure or zeroing, determination of the plebostatic axis for transducer height placement or leveling, zeroing the transducer. Turn the three-way stopcock open to air and close to the patient and the flush system. Press zero key on the monitor. A zero is then displayed. The stopcock is returned to the closed position and a closed cap is placed over the open port. The stopcock should be open to the patient and flush system to monitor. Leveling the transducer. The transducer air reference topcock should be at the level with the phlebostatic axis reference point. The phlebostatic axis reference point is at the fourth intercostal space at the mid anterior posterior diameter of the chest wall. If the leveling is inappropriate, it will show falsely low pressure reading if the transducer is too high. It will show falsely high pressure reading if the transducer is too low. Arterial line indications. Any major medical or surgical condition that compromises cardiac output, tissue perfusion, or fluid volume status. Unstable blood pressure, like hemorrhage and hypotension. Cardiac arrest. Frequent ABG or laboratory analysis, neurological surgeries or injuries, hypertensive crisis, sepsis with respiratory failure, post-operative monitoring, and vasoactive medication infusion. Arterial pressure is designed for continuous measurement of blood pressure parameters like the systole, diastole, and mean arterial blood pressure. Arterial line contraindications. Coagulopathy. Advanced atherosclerosis. Raynaud's phenomenon. And thromboangitis obliterans. Correlation with blood pressure cough. Systolic pressure within 0 to 20 mmHg higher than the cuff. Diastolic pressure within 0 to 10 mmHg lower than the cuff diastolic pressure. Allen's test is the assessment of collateral circulation to the hand by the ulnar artery. This is how it is done. The provider will occlude both radial and ulnar artery. The patient then clench and unclench his fist until hand blanches. The provider then releases pressure from ulnar artery. The caller should return 5 to 7 seconds. Allen's test should be done before inserting the arterial line. This is how the arterial waveform looks like. The systolic ejection is the peak of the waveform. Normal is 90 to 140. The diastole is the lowest portion of the waveform. Normal is 60 to 90. The dichrotic notch is the closure of the aortic valve. Potential complication of arterial line. Limb loss due to inadequate collateral blood flow, infection, exsanguination, vessel scarring. The square wave test is used to check if the arterial line is working properly. It is done by rapidly flushing the line by pulling the release on the flush device. 
it should generate a square wave. Count the oscillations after the square wave. The accurate blood pressure should have 1.5 to 2 oscillations. It is overdumped if it's less than 1.5 oscillations or absence of the necrotic notch. When your waveform is overdumped, you are getting falsely low blood pressure. To fix overdump, remove extra tubing and any air bubbles. If the oscillations are greater than 2 or there is additional artifactual spikes, it is underdump. You are getting falsely high blood pressure. To fix this problem, adjust the filter settings of the monitor. If you have dumped waveform, either over dumped or under dumped, check the system for air bubbles, check for kinks in tubing, loose connection, check the pressure in the pressure bag, and aspirate the line to check for clots. To aspirate from the line, aspirate 15 ml of blood and discard. Attach a 20 ml syringe filled with saline and flush the line manually. How to maintain the arterial line? Level 0. Recalibrate. Assess waveform and check distal pulses every 4 hours and as needed. Check capillary refill to affected extremity every 4 hours and as needed. Keep sight visible. Use transparent dressing. Monitor line for disconnection or loose connection. Change tubing and pressure bag every 72 hours per policy. Evaluate for signs of compromised blood flow. Blanching of distal digits when system is flushed. Burning sensation in extremity when system is flushed. Diminished pulses in affected limb. Mottling, skin color changes, and temperature changes in affected limb. To discontinue the arterial line, apply direct manual pressure until hemostasis is achieved. Cyvec patch may be used if ordered by the physician. Carefully monitor the insertion site for bleeding. Patient will remain in the unit for site observation after the removal of an arterial line and prior to transfer for a minimum of 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, press subscribe and the bell button to be notified with my upcoming videos. Thank you for your support.